Okay, welcome back to the channel guys and girls. So you're wondering what these are. Well, these are subframe collars. And these are gonna go on the Genesis. Yes, this is a Genesis video. So as you can see, these these four are the same size. These two are the same size as these four. And then you have this one's an odd size, and this one's really small. They go in certain spots on the car. So let me turn you around. Your front and rear subframes of each car. And each car, if it's a unibody car, has front and rear subframes. So in each subframe, there are four bolts that hold the subframe in, essentially. It's like the pivot, the anchoring points. So from the factory, when they put these cars together, now I'm not saying it's bad, it's just for quickness. The tolerances on the bolts or the holes that the bolts go through are extremely loose. But because it's from the factory, it's all nice and tight. But over time of driving and bumps and, and everything else, those tight holes now or the tight bolts now starting to loosen off and now they start kind of moving around in these loose holes. So that's what these do. So these go into the holes, the loose holes, and the bolt is the same size as these holes. So now you're back to factory spec again. It's pretty cheap as far as putting these in. Like I think these cost me 50 bucks and they're blue. I don't know, it's blue and red. So I chose blue. I like blue better. So that's pretty much what they are. So it brings the car back to factory tightness, if you want to call it that. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to put them in. Uh, you're going to need a few tools and it's not anything stupid, but you're going to need a good torque wrench that can go to at least 130, p or 130 foot pounds. You're going to need a ratchet. You're going to need an impact. Um, you're going to need a jack if you don't have a lift. That's me. I don't have a lift, so I'm doing this on jacks. I had to take the front tires off for two reasons. One, to ease ease of shot, so easily to get the camera where I need it to go. And two, for switching tires. So I recently have um, a video of painting rims with Plasti Dip. That, I'll leave that in the corner. And those rims are going on the car now, taking off the winter rims because the car is going to get safety probably next week sometime and then off to the body shop she goes. That's pretty much where she sits. So I'm going to show you how to put these in and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so now we're underneath the car, sort of. I'm on cars up on jacks as you can see. So one of the bolts is right here. So all you want to do with all this is take all four bolts and ease them off just a little bit. Just crack them, so to speak. So there's one there on the front, one there in the rear, and then you look down there, there's the other rear one. Oh, you can't see it because of the heat shield. And then the other front one's the same spot. So that's all you want to do. You just want to crack them. Back of this. Yeah. Yeah, look at my tubs. Yeah, you just want to crack them so that way it's all. I don't know, so it doesn't mess up anything. So that's all I'm going to do. So I'm not going to show you. It's just cracking bolts. I'll show you its insulation. All right, I ran into one little tiny problem. It's not really that big of a problem. So the collar you're going to use is the smallest collar that's on the driver's side rear. Well, the, the front driver's side rear part of the subframe. So as you can see, it had a little bit of rust on there. So you might have to just take a wire wheel in there and just kind of get rid of it so that way the collar slides up like that. And then because it's fine thread, this is a fine thread bolt, do not use an impact. Wrench it in. Wrench it nice and snug and then move on to the next one. So let's, let's do that now. Goes in right here. See, screw, screw, screw. 
until you can't screw no more and then you use wrench. 19 mil. That's it until you torque it up. Well, yeah, I would snug it up. I wouldn't go nuts because you're going to torque it in an X, X pattern. So I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to show you every single one of them, but I'll show you the front one and then we'll kind of go from there. Okay. And that's a little awkward to see me in sideways. So the two rears are the two that are different sizes. So the passenger side is the next smallest one, and then the driver's side is the smallest one, and then the rest of them are all the, they're all the same size. So that's easy. So once you get the collar on, like so, then you just put it back up. Like so. And you use your aim, your ratchet. Snug her up, and then I'm off to do the next one. All right, now that all the front collars are in. And you take your torque wrench, set it to 130, and you torque them all down. Oh, first you gotta go the right way. And you do this in a crisscross pattern. So I'm going to go there, I'm going to go to the other side, over here, going to do this one, same thing, poof, Dut. oh shoot, how is this one? That's it for the front, so let's go to the back. Okay, on to the rear. So I got the back end jacked up. I got the tires off because I already told you I'm changing rims. So here's one of the collars that's going in. One, same thing on the other side. Then you have another one. Uh, let me go in the light. There you, go. you have another one that's right here, but this whole plate's gotta come off. So you have a nut and a bolt to come off. Yeah, right there. There's your bolt, there's your nut. Those two have to come off and this whole plate comes off. So I'll show you how that comes off. But it's the same on the other side. All right, so I've already taken out the 14 mil nut and bolt that is on this arm, this little control arm or whatever, whatever arm it is. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the front. We're just gonna break them and then take them out one by one and put them back in. That's it, pretty simple.
All right, so now my compressor finally stopped. Now we're gonna take this one out and start with it. Yeah, same thing, you gotta clean the rust and corrosion off of it. Be back. Alright, so now we have it out and the bolt cleaned. So now you put your bolt back into your arm, and then you put the collar over top of that, because the collar is gonna go right up here. And then, same thing, do not use air to put this in. Put this in nice and easy with the ratchet. Because then we'll torque it after. Okay. So then after that you can put on your nut, your other bolt, and then once you're ready you can torque everything down, crisscross pattern again. That's it for this one. So I'm not going to show you how we do this, I'm going to go to the back one and we'll do this one. Yeah, so there's your back one. This one, same thing, pop her off. Nice and dirty. And you can kind of see what I mean as far as over time, she kind of moves on you. See how, that, how big the hole is? And that big hole is just for assembly pur pur purposes so that they can put these suckers together faster and there's no issues. So with these collars, it's going to help them solve that. So let's install this one. Can you see? Can't see. Haha. <laughs> Isn't that better? So for this one, uh, you take your collar and kind of put it on with the nut. Oh, I'm not still in there. Do that. This is the only one that you can do this with. And you can put air back to it. There you go. See? See how that looks? And this one's pretty easy. All you gotta do is just put her back up. That's what the other side is, or the back part. And they are all the same size on these ones, so I'm gonna do the other two and we'll torque them and that's it. All right, so now the last thing we do is torque them. Start at one and off we go. Gotta move you. Okay, this one. This one. Oops. And then 
new one at the back. So, that concludes how to put in subframe collars on a Genesis. Now, if you want to do it on any other car, and I suggest you do any high performance car or something that you take around corners and stuff like that, all vehicles are like this. They do it like this for fast assembly. So, if you look online, I'm sure someone's going to have subframe collars for whatever vehicle you want. So I did it on the Genesis because it helps. I've heard it helped a lot on the forums. So I'm gonna do it. Uh, one of the other projects is gonna come, not for a little bit though, is a differential bushing kit. So ATQ Automotive Products out of Cambridge, I believe, which is in Canada, uh, has developed a product that keeps the rear end from slipping, from bouncing, wheel hop, all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna end up buying one of those and making a video on installation. I already have the short throw shifter in there and I'm excited to use it. The car is now on its original rims uh, with the plastic dip on it. So we'll see how, that, how long that lasts. It's gonna go for safety probably in the next week or so and bodywork so I hope you guys enjoyed this it's a little tutorial on how to put in the subframe colors it took me I say three hours with the jack and jack stands uh, if you had to have a lift half hour maybe an hour tops now mind you that three hours with me screwing around I had to do a couple little things here and there I was looking at the car seeing what I could see what it needs for safety stuff like that so, in actuality, it's probably only two hours if I really hauled ass on it, but... So, that's it. Collars are in. Everything's tight. Tires are on. We're good to go. So, if you liked the video, smash that like button. If you want to subscribe, which, please do, subscribe. And then there's a bell icon over there. Or is it over here? No, it's over here. Um, smash the bell so that way anytime I release videos and I'm trying to release them a lot more frequently then you'll get updated on when they come out so any comments leave them down below and that's it for today so have a good one